Okay, here we are back with our 67 Mustang Coupe that we have installed a 302 crate motor from ATK. Uh, this was originally a six-cylinder three-speed car. We have uh, put in the 302 V8 with an AOD transmission. Uh, we did our first cam break-in run yesterday, and everything went well except for a horrific exhaust leak that we thought was coming from the exhaust uh, or the header collectors. And um, we discovered today when we were looking around that we uh, had an engine with both heads missing that bolt right there. See if I can point it out to you. Not very well here. That bolt right there plugs a port that we haven't seen before. Um, saw one engine when we were hunting around that had a bolt in it, but it's a port that goes directly to the rear exhaust port here. And so we had uh, one very large, or actually one very large exhaust leak on each cylinder head. Uh, we're gonna be having words with ATK to find out what the story is behind this. Anyhow, we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, and go for our second run. Have you got the timer set? Timer ready. Timer's ready, key is on, and we're cranking. That's off of a cold start. Has it run since last night? Uh, if we had the hood on 
this and if we had a long throw, we probably wouldn't have any trouble whatsoever with them getting on. But we're not overly concerned. Um, biggest noise we have at this point is the very good flex band that we have on this. We went to maximum size because we're doing air conditioning on this car and we want to make sure that we don't have any other heat across. And we want our car to have to avoid having to use our uh, crowd on this as well possible. Okay, we're continuing with the cam break in. We're at about 18 minutes into it now. Everything's going fine. Uh, we're just doing the best we can to keep air flowing around the uh, rear header tubes and the collectors to keep the uh, ceramic from blowing, or the header from blowing and cooking the ceramic off. I'm going to show you right now where we get the timing set. just a little bit further this time on the fan after cutoff so it's loosening up a little bit I think we're in for a good running motor here 